Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, so today we're gonna look at Screen Test from Steve Dimmer. What is it? Uh, it's a mentalist routine that uses movie postcards, movie titles, where your spectator picks a random postcard and then you are able to discern which one uh, they picked. If you'd like to see what it looks like, this is it. Your spectator selects a movie from a bunch of 17 mini movie posters. While your head is turned, they read out a list of every single movie contained within this pack. Now with no peaks and no memory work, you can instantly tell them what movie they're thinking of. Now your pulse is already starting to race, so this is a thriller, yeah? yeah. So I want you to, to try and think about what the movie is about in your mind, just make it up as you go along, but it's, okay, this is a thriller. Can you just visualize the, the poster that you just looked at? Just visualize it in your mind. This is a lineup, isn't it? Yes. Are you thinking of the usual suspect? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> now, if that wasn't strong enough, with my bonus handling, you can actually predict a second spectator's movie on your ringtone. In fact, let's try something else as well, because remember I popped a card down here. Yeah. We'll, we'll try something else. This time, I'm not going to ask you to, to remove a card, but I want you to see that the cards are all different, okay? We're going to give them uh, another mix-up, so I don't know the order and you don't know the order, more importantly, okay? okay? Just touch the back of any one. Just touch the back of one. This one here. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Because um, you're not going to take it out, you're just going to remember it. Yeah. Do you know what that movie is? You've seen it before. I have seen it, yes. Yeah, okay, I'm going to turn my head, but I'm going to show the camera. Okay. Now, I couldn't have known what movie you were going to choose there. But remember I said I made a prediction. Yeah. This is something that I believe was going to happen. Okay. You're thinking of one movie. On the card is a number. Does that make any sense to you at all? Apart from being a mobile phone number. No. no? Okay, pick up your phone and do me a favor, just dial this number for me. And when you've dialed it, just press call. Perfect. Do you know the theme tune to this movie you're thinking of? Yes. You do? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Is that it? <laughs> what are you thinking of Jaws? <laughs> All right, so that was Steve Dimmer. You might have also recognized Peter Nardi. He is heavily on this video as well. Uh, this is published by Alakazam Magic. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews. The first of which is, what is in the box? Hey, what's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get 17 movie postcards. These are high quality, uh, thick postcards. They're not laminated, but they are uh, done on a very thick stock. And you're gonna get a download code to a 50 minute video teaching instruction. Uh, that includes both Steve Dimmer and Peter Nardi. You get all of their tips, uh, tricks, and advice. Is it what I thought? Uh, at first, just reading the ad copy, I didn't really know what to expect. Kind of had maybe some ideas, but didn't know for sure. Uh, but when I got it, uh, I will say that it is based on very traditional mentalist work. How are the angles on this? There are zero angles. Uh, you're totally angle-proof and you're good to go from all directions. Can these cards be inspected? Absolutely, you hand them out as part of the routine. Uh, your spectator gets to hold them all, go through them, make a free selection. You don't need to hold them uh, at any time. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it is one steady shot. Uh, you do get some live performances that are done in a theater, but for the most part, it is uh, Peter and Steve sitting at a table discussing the routine. Since it is a mentalist routine, you're not gonna need all of the multiple camera angles because there aren't really slides involved, but uh, it is done in HD and it's everything you'd expect from Alakazam Magic. Is it well made? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, the video shot in HD, it's got really good sound. The cards themselves are done on really high quality stock and should last you over long time. How much practice does it require? Uh, not much. Uh, it is going to take some memory work, however, okay? So uh, there is some memory work involved, and so I would offer that the more memory work you do, the less practice uh, you're going to need. Uh, but other than that, it's just kind of figuring out the routine and how you're going to phrase it all and put it all together. Uh, I think, though, that once you figure out the, the secret, uh, you should be able to do this pretty quickly. How much setup and reset is there? There is none. Uh, you get the cards and the cards do all the work. You don't have to have them in any particular order. So what are the positives to screen test? Uh, the positives are, uh, I think a lot of the movie titles are very familiar. That's nice that uh, you're using posters and titles that I think people will recognize instantly. Uh, also, you're gonna get lots of 
uh, extra handlings and some extra input uh, from Peter Nardi and Steve. And, and so I think that always goes a long way when buying a single marketed effect. All right, so what are the negatives? Uh, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see for this effect. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, there is one title amongst all of these that I think an American audience will not recognize. Alakazam is a uh, British company, and Steve Dimmer and Peter Nardi are both British as well, and so uh, this might play better uh, overseas, I don't know, but there is one title that your American audience won't recognize. We're hoping they'll just blow past it and not give it a second thought. They'll just look at the title and assume it's some old 1950s movie that they don't recognize, uh, but that was just one uh, tiny little negative. The second negative for me is originally when I got the effect, I didn't know how it was done, and I didn't watch the video, I didn't watch the download. I simply went through the cards, inspected the fronts and backs, and within a couple of minutes, I figured out how the trick was done. So I figured out how it was done without even watching the explanation. So that could be an issue for some people, especially trying to pass this by another magician or somebody that has a working knowledge of magic. Um, it's not that difficult to figure out. And so that was just a little bit of a negative, but I do also have the working mind of a magician and the average person doesn't. And so who knows, maybe this might blow past a lot of people and, and be a really good hit. So I do have a tip for taking the heat off of the gimmick, okay? And so here's my tip, okay? The trick itself is so that you have the card freely selected and then um, as they read through the titles, you're listening to the inflections in their voice and you're able to tell which card is the one they're holding. Here's what I would do. I would use the gimmick and learn the title that they're holding and then stop the effect and say, it's not working. I'm not picking up anything. I don't, I don't, I don't understand you know, what's going on. Take the cards back, note the top card, cut it to the center and force it. Do a simple riffle force and force the title. Then while they're holding their card and not saying anything to you, just focusing on the, the title, you reveal mentally which card they took. And then you say, ah, now your mind is clear. Now I know the title to the first card you selected and reveal that one also. That way, with the second effect, you're erasing the process that took place in the first effect. You don't want them to backtrack through the trick and then try to discern how you did it. So by doing the second trick, in a more mentalist type of way, even though you're forcing it, it shouldn't make it look like a force. Uh, you're gonna reveal the second title and then that will seem much more magical. That is just my advice for this effect. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, it's $46, it's $46, almost 50 bucks uh, for the download and for the cards. Uh, is that worth it? It depends, I guess, on your venue. I think if you use this as a stage trick, and I think the card size, uh, this is how big the cards are. So it doesn't really work for a walk around effect. You're not gonna stick these in your back pocket. Um, so I think if you're doing this on stage and you're using it as a stage effect in a mentalist routine, $46 is right in the pocket. I think it would be well worth it. Who would like this mentalist? Like I said, stage mentalist. Uh, I think that kind of works better for the size of this effect. All right, so that is Screen Test from Steve Dimmer. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it on one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.